Hey, good morning. We're back here. This is Carolyn Shadrach from Core cool Story Branding. And we're back here today to talk about how to get booked on more stages. Last Friday, um, Elaine Williams was here with me and we talked about your sizzle reel. And the sizzle reel, sometimes people call it a demo reel, um, a speaker reel. It's really that video that wants to be like one or two minutes that has the best parts of your talk. And it's something that you can get, get used to get booked on more stages. So one of the things that we wanted to cover today is exactly where do you put this video to actually get it, get it in front of people? Um, that's one of the questions that actually has come up for me when I've been talking to people. So that's one of the things that we're going to be talking about today. And just generally, how, in fact, how do you get out there? You know, how do you actually put yourself out there to get booked on those stages? So today I've got Elaine's back with me today. I'm going to introduce Elaine in a minute. And um, we'll be talking about how you can actually get yourself out there and start to get more bookings. So let's say hello to Elaine. Hi. Good morning. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Thanks for having me. Yeah, you. How was your weekend? It was good. It was um, busy, some work and some play, and um, and I'm the, it's raining here on the east coast, and I'm like, melt the snow, melt the snow. Yes, <laughs> you know, I'm in the middle of the country, and it's still melting as well. It's actually, yeah, yeah it's pretty bleak. Um, so, I, so today we wanted to talk about exactly what you can do with this uh, this video wheel once you actually have it, and I know that because you you've been on various stages. And um, I'm sure you've had a scissor wheel in the past. And actually, even today, when we were talking, you were talking, you said you're, you're not even really sure exactly where you can actually put your, you know, what you can do with this thing. I mean, at the very basic level, you want to make sure that you send it off when you are trying to get yourself booked with um, an event person actually looking for speakers. Right. <laughs> That's the first place. Um, but then where? Yeah, well, I would say obviously it's got to be on your on your website. And on your Facebook page mm -hmm. and on your LinkedIn page. And, you know, the whole point, Car Carolyn, is I, I, I went to, you know, I was like, running around as, acting forever. And they, they did this thing where, you know, be in the booker's world, right? They're doing, mm -hmm. they're juggling, they're on the phone, they're getting all these things. And you send them a postcard or an email. And it's like, that's it. Like, right. that's right. like you have that time and either are in the trash or on the pile on the desk. Mm. And, and so I think, I think when you can kind of come from that place, it helps you go, I want to make their job as easy as possible. Right. So, right. You know, like obviously like the link and your email, but so that there's a lot of different places they can go. So all they have to do is click. And mm. if they get interrupted, they can come back and click. I'm amazed. Uh, I just started working um, with a, a new person, and it, and she's great. But like, I got really lost in her web page. Right. I just right. want to make it simple because busy people who are booking have a lot of things. So the more you can just hand them your stuff, it's like you're going to be people. There's assume that there's X amount of really talented people, right? Mm -hmm. But if you are good to work with and easy, you're going to work more. I mean, right, right. right? Whether you're, easier, you're an actress or whatever. The easier you can actually make it for them, the more likely they're to use you. No, it's true. It's true. If they have to kind of go through all of these different hoops. Without being it. desperate. I mean, th there's like, you don't want to be desperate or chasing people. But mm. if you can just be like, here, you can come here or you can come here. Or mm. let me send you this. Like, you've got, you know, like, here we go. As opposed to, oh, yeah, if you go look here and then you have to click this. And, you know, so many people I know, they're like, well, I don't have my new business cards or I don't have, I'm retweaking this, right? Mm -hmm. So anyway, well, sorry, I got a little off, but just like in, the importance of being ready. But but where else is a good place to put your demo? Real? Well, actually, I just wanted to, to, to dive in a bit more in terms of where, of, of the places that you actually mentioned, because definitely you want to have it on your website. But just this weekend, I was looking at someone's um, landing page for a new, new product that they had out and I think a lot of people make the mistake of putting things in beneath the fold and beneath the fold basically means that when you look at your, when you open the screen anything that you have to scroll down to is called beneath the fold so for a lot of people what they do with their when they have their videos is they put them at the bottom of the page which basically means that most people aren't going to see it as the right. first thing that they look at so you always want to make sure that you have your your video right at the top of the page and then to, and to have some sort of call to action as well. 
because you know if it's just a picture you know like a screenshot of your video people are not necessarily going to click on it and know that that's where they can get the information so as you said the easier you can make it you know, and that's one of the things to have like a big you know one of those um arrows or something so you know it's like okay this is the action that you have to take or even actually putting a button on there that says watch me now <laughs> right <laughs> I think it's literally it makes it completely idiot proof and the the other thing is that um you want to make sure that you have like a little you know have a text some text information as well why should they watch the video before you know so you want to give them all That's of these great. cues to make it completely simple and you know like a no-brainer, of course they're going to they're gonna watch it because it's right there in front of them. That's um, great. That's really mm, great. Mm. The other thing is that uh, this is another mistake because uh, you, you were saying just now that um, with one of your clients, you got lost looking all around all, all the different, you know, in her website. And everyone knows what it's like when you, you know, you turn up on Facebook, you go in for one particular thing and like, you know, half an hour later, you're thinking, what was I? What was I doing here? Right. <laughs> it's like, what was my point? Right. Yeah, exactly. And so when you when you place your video, if you have if you can actually get a de- the best way to do it actually is to have it in a couple of different places and maybe to have if you have a speaker one sheet and we can talk about exactly what that is in a second. But if you have a, a dedicated URL with no other buttons on the page, so kind of treat it like a landing page, then the people will not get lost because. If they're actually on you, if you direct everything back to your website and you have all these different buttons, you know, then they can start wandering around your site. And before you know it, they can't remember why they're even there. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's a really good point. Mm, mm. I think a lot of people do that with their, um, when they're trying to promote new products and they put like their, their order form on a page, which is just on their regular website. And then people get lost because, of course, everybody wants to, if you're trying to order something, if you want to work with somebody, you want to find out who they are, right? People want to know who you are, if they, they want to, know, to see if they like you, if they can trust you. And ideally, that's what you want to achieve by the, the video that you have. So one of the things that we do is help um, our clients build like a, a business promo video, which really tells them about who they are, what they stand for, makes, what makes them different. So they can get all of this information in one place. If you don't have that, then people start wandering around your site, but then they may never get back to the actual ordering of right. that you wanted them to get in the first place. And that's the danger of having it just on your regular website. Yes, thank you for reminding me because I need to uh, finish my landing page. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, but so what? So you said we can have it on your website, on your LinkedIn pages, on your Facebook page, of course. Um, email signatures is another place as well. Like because you know, obviously, if you're writing to a place to get booked, you know, you would put you put like a link in there. But actually, just in your regular emails, you could have a signature that links right back to your sizzle wheel. Yep. And so people can immediately see it, even if you're talking about some, something else. They may actually kind of check you out. I think the other thing that it can potentially do, apart from being um, allowing you to get booked much more easily, it also gives you more credibility just with your clients, too, because they're like, oh, you know, people actually, um, you know, she looks like somebody that I need to talk to. She has this authority. And so it gives you more authority and credibility just with your client base, too. Yeah. And, you know, I, I love to connect people. I love I just think it's so fun. And I'm like all of us, really, really busy. So, you know, sometimes I'm like, oh, I want you to meet so-and-so. I'm going to do an email intro. Mm. And then that way, you know, if, if they send it to their friend or, or whatever, they can check you out. Yes. You know, and it, doesn't, it can just be faster. Exactly. I think, I think we all have good intentions, but then life happens, you know. And it's not like, and we don't want to say people are idiots. They just get interrupted. Mm. They get interrupted mm. a million times. We had every intention of watching this thing or whatever, and then, we had to put out this fire and this fire and this fire. Exactly. Which goes back to the first point that you made, which is really just about making it easy for people to find the information. Yeah. Um, and it's interesting you said that actually, because just even this weekend, I think I, there were two people that I connected to a telesummit host who, were, you know, I thought they'd be perfect, perfect in terms of the topics that they cover and the topics that the host was looking for. And, uh, you know, and I introduced them to, I think I introduced them to, um, uh, PM, you know, a Facebook message or something. But yeah, if, if they, if I could actually direct them down straight to the video or video page, then that, you know, that the person who was trying to book them for a telesummit would know immediately 
what they're about. Right. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Instead of going through this kind of long-winded process, yeah. But, um, all right, so we've got the homepage, the LinkedIn profile. And actually, even do you have your video on your LinkedIn profile, Elaine? I was just thinking I'm not <laughs> – because you know my t I mean I I'm still speaking on college campuses mm -hmm. but I have um pivoted and I don't I don't think I have the most current thing up that's on right. my list today <laughs> right 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 and actually so with LinkedIn profile as well but, um oh we're getting a bit of feedback is that you or me I don't know um, sorry I, I'm I'm here. I'm fine over here but okay okay with the LinkedIn profile it's not something that comes up immediately but there is a space where you can actually put your your videos in and but it's so if somebody's checking you out they'll find it but it just doesn't come up immediately but you definitely want to have your have your um reel there the emails we talked about um the email signature we talked about but actually another place that you can put your video is if you have a sequence of, of automated emails that go out to people when they actually come into your world so say you have a a free ebook that people can sign up for what I do with my clients is I help them to set up a series of emails which really um, acts as like an introduction to anyone who comes into the world, into their world. Mm -hmm. So, you know, so they might have signed up for the, the ebook. So your first email is going to be something like, you know, well, hey, thanks, thanks for signing up. Um, this is what you're going to get from actually reading the ebook and give them all of those benefits. But then, you know, in the next email, then you can start talking, telling them a bit more about you and who you are, what you stand for. And then you say, hey, and then you can put your, real or your video in there too and so that people get more of an idea of, of exactly what it is that you do so you would recommend that an email too mm -hmm. okay yeah. yes yeah because you know because when people are actually i think that it's one of those things that um it's kind of like you don't want to people when they first come into your world are more consumed about their problems right whether they're looking for a speaker or if they're right 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 or, you know someone to heal their back pain or whatever it is they're kind of consumed with with the problem and so if you start launching in a world well you know i've been working on back pain for years and i've had you know three phds and this and blah 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 they like, don't care oh. <laughs> right <laughs> i was just looking for someone to fix my back pain yeah so that's why it's on the second one because now they're on the first one you're talking about the pain that they're actually in and the potential of transformation transformate transforming their pain and the solution that they actually want and it's not about you. One what? Thing, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but once they actually know that um, potentially they can find a solution for you, they're more kind of open, you know, they're relaxed a bit because thinking, okay, she knows what she's talking about. And then they'll be more open to actually hearing your story. And that's why it wants to be in the second email. So it's really taking them on a journey. Yeah. No, I, I love that. And I think we get, we forget that sometimes, especially if, you know, I'm, I'm a coach and I just love helping people and, and I do talk a lot about my process and my clients, but it's always with the intention to help. Mm. But it's just, mm. That's a great point of like, you want to meet them where they are. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, meet them where they're at, not try to kind of force everything on them. And it's kind of like, it's, if you think of it like a relationship, a lot of um, a lot of people, what they do is they try to kind of offer their hand in marriage on the first right. time they met. You know, you're like, whoa, what? <laughs> you know? I still do that. No. Maybe, that's, maybe that's why I have problems with men. Yeah. Yes, is that what is that? Is it number six you're on? Um, <laughs> <laughs> yes, so yeah, so you don't want to do that. I mean, because you can imagine, like, if you actually met somebody and they started to, you know, talking about marriage on the first date, not only would you not do, marry them, you'd actually never talk to those people again because you think they were crazy. But yeah, that's what a lot of people actually do with their marketing. So, um, so yeah, that's how you can use it in the emails, but definitely not on the first one. Oh my God, I'm getting feedback again. Hopefully this is recording this way. Yeah, and I was just thinking, Carolyn, that's a, that's just great to think about with the book or two, uh, you know, or just try to meet them where they are. I mean, mm. obviously you want to be like, here's my stuff, but you also want to be like, you know, I'm available to talk when it works for you. You know, it, it's just sort of like being ready without being desperate. Yes. Yeah. No, that's true. That is true. Yeah. Which brings us actually to the speaker one sheet. So, um, one of the things that we uh, that I want us to talk about is actually that speaker one sheet. Like, what exactly is a speaker one sheet? But we're not going to do it today because this this is actually going to get too long. I'm not sure how long we've been here. Ten minutes. Okay, that's good. Okay. Um, so we'll talk but, about that tomorrow. Mm -hmm. yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. 
So we'll go into the, the speak one sheet. This is me, Carolyn Shadrach from Call cool Story Branding. And I was here with Elaine Williams. And we will be back tomorrow to talk about the speaker one sheet, exactly what is it, how do you use it, and how can it help you to get you booked onto more stages. So if you do want to find out more information about um, getting yourself booked, how you can start to <clears throat> have your own um, speaker wheel that's going to get you on more stages and position you as an authority, you can actually go to um, the URL, which is speakerpromoday.com, that's speaker promoday.com that's all one word and find out more information about how you can start to get yourself booked so we'll be back tomorrow that's, that's goodbye from me and goodbye from elaine bye um, we'll see you next time all right, thank thanks. you have bye. a great monday thank you okay bye, bye.